Hey guys, it's Irish again. In this video I thought I would take a look at BSPW uh, Window Manager. Uh, if you go to the GitHub page, uh, it uh, says that it is uh, the BSP is Binary Spacing Partitioning. So what this does, unlike other window managers, is that uh, every time that you open up a window, it, uh, it goes down to a fully binary tree. On his GitHub page, the author of this is Bastien Dejan. Uh, forgive me if I messed that up. But if you keep opening windows here, um, it splits into two, just like any other window manager out there. But then the, it leaves away the left side or the left container, and as it goes down, just like a binary tree. So let me show you what this looks like. So if you just do a mod enter, uh, it opens up a uh, your terminal, but if you do it again, it splits it to the left. But if you keep going, as you can see that it splits that on, down in half, and then that splits it horizontally, and then you just keep on going as much as you want. Um, but if you ever wanted to, uh, you know, split this up I'll show that in, in a little bit but you can split both containers but this is the natural progression if you just kept uh, pressing uh, mod enter for your uh, terminal but the cool thing about this is so this is technically a layout uh, like a natural flow to it just like in i3 or in any other tiling manager that you just keep going until you change it this is also a manually you can manually uh, decide which way that you want uh, to tile this so let me exit all of these out and show you what I mean so when you open this up say you wanted to uh, split this in half now by default the mod key is the windows or super key so if you want uh, so I will show you also guys in a little bit the uh, the key bindings for this but you would do mod control and then in BSPW you do not use the arrow keys or like in I3 the V and the H but you use the Vim controls so it would be the H J K L so H for left J for down, K for up, and then L for right. So if we wanted to move this down, we would just do a mod control J and then just enter it. And then this doesn't split this by half, but it does split it by 0.52. Uh, that is configurable. You can change it to any uh, one that you want by default. So say we wanted to increase this, we would do a mod shift and then either the J oops, sorry it would be the mod windows key or if the windows key if you left the mod key it would be windows and alt key and then you can just move this up with the Vim controls which would be the H J K L or you can do it with the A or you can use the mod shift and then A, W, S, and D. You can uh, do that, but I just tried it right now and it doesn't seem like it. Uh, I have it set up uh, properly, so I'll do that in a little bit. But, uh, so yeah, by default also, um, you do not get any top bar or any system tray. So it is a blank screen just like in Xmonad. Uh, so up here, as you see, is Dyson 2, and then over here is Trayer. Um, the Dyson panel uh, did take me a while to do, uh, thanks to the help of Daniel Sandman. He uh, he did an awesome job get, getting this to the way I wanted. Because any time that I tried uh, following someone else's config uh, and then tried to pipe Conky into there. 
um, it just did not work. I always get aired messages out or I just didn't get anything uh, whatsoever. So uh, I really appreciate his help with this. So you do get 10 uh, workspaces and then this T right here, uh, there's two different types of uh, layouts I guess you would say or modes. So the T, so the T stands for tiling and then if we do a mod T it goes to an M which stands for monocle. So I'll show you what these look like. So I did show you the uh, the T or the tiling uh, layout but if we do a mod T uh, as you can see it overlaps each other into a uh, I guess a monocle uh, I don't know what exactly that is but it layers it on top of each other so I don't know exactly when you would want to use this uh, this mode but uh, I think just keeping it a tiling is the, the best way of doing it so I just wanted to show you guys uh, when you do install this um, uh, it you do have to install two types of packages one of them is uh, the BSP main window manager and then there's something called SXHKD which is where the hotkeys are so you can put uh, so the BSPWRC file uh, would be located in your uh, .configs and then you can create your own uh, uh, subfolder for that and then uh, we'll just open this up in uh, gedit really fast um, so you can put this really uh, so bs so then this is what it looks like so also by default uh, you don't get really much of anything. I did take this from other people's config files out there. So you can have a border width of one pixel. You can do gaps if you really desire it. Um, you can have uh, anytime you move the mouse from one container to the next uh, then you would be uh, focusing it on there but it, by default you would have to um, you have to do it manually by uh, by key combinations but I, I, I prefer this way um, and then the monitor uh, the, six, the 10 um, workspaces and then the active border color which would be this as you can see the blue uh, around that and then I tried putting my font awesome icon into it but uh, maybe it just doesn't uh, uh, hopefully someone down in the comments can say if I uh, any experienced BSP uh, users know how to add um, fonts into uh, the BSP window manager and then the panel is uh, something separate I, I'll get to that in a little bit but the panel is uh, right up here as the Dyson part of it so that's all uh, so this BSP RC file um, is the the main window manager so if when you did did install it and forgot to add this you really couldn't do anything so the second uh, save this so the second uh, uh, config file you can put this in your BSPW folder in the dot configs or you can create it uh, a second folder which that's what I did so if you just go back and then go to the SXHKD file and then we'll just open up that um, that, that uh, RC file so once again by default the mod key is the Windows key or the super key but as you can see I changed it to what I like it in I3 which is my alt key because on my keyboard I have two alt buttons but only one windows key so it, it, it would not flow for me as well so the, the second thing that I changed in here is uh, the closing of the windows by default it's uh, the super key 
plus W. So I changed it to Alt Shift Q. And then uh, as you see we're in um, we are in full screen mode just like in that so you just do Alt F which would be full screen. Now if we went to another um, another workspace and did an Alt S as you see it is in floating mode. Uh, you can move this uh, again there's might be something wrong with my uh, my key combinations but if you do a mod and then right mouse key you're supposed to move this um, but for whatever reason I'm unable to unless no, oh, yeah I think there's something wrong with my, uh, my config file but you are able to move this so you are in floating mode right here and then if you just do a alt s again it brings you back to uh, the tiling or full screen mode so it, you, you, um, so on the main guy's website, he does have examples to get you started. So if we come up here, and it's in the examples, and then if we go to the SXHKRC file, uh, as you can see here, it's uh, right here. Uh, so you would just want to add a folder or add this to your either your SS. SXHKRC file folder or you can put it in with the other OS. So you so by default super space is the D menu. I don't believe D menu comes with it, so if you do install this, I would uh, highly recommend uh, installing D menu. If we come back to mine, uh, I changed a, a few things myself. Uh, I made Alt D as the D menu like I have in my i3. I also put the volume control and brightness control on it. And all you have to do is say your key combination and then what it does down below. So if you want to add uh, quick keys to like install to start up Firefox or whatever, you would put this down in the window manager dependent hotkeys. So it these don't really need to be here. Um, and then if you changed anything in this file uh, you would want to refresh it so if I changed uh, the alts back to super keys uh, I would have to do a super R and then it would refresh everything uh, that way um, so then also let me take a look at the, his uh, uh, other one which is the BSPRC so this is what it is what he comes with so it is bare bones but this is enough to what you need to get the window manager up and running and then with the top bar the panel um, you can use Tizen 2 uh, I have used X Mobar you can use Tint 2 uh, you can also use XFCE panel uh, and then you can also use something called Lemon Bar, which if we again go back to his, uh, this is what uh, the panels look like. So we'd use Panel here, and then this is for Lemon Bar. So you just put all this in, and then anytime you have this, you would want to Chmod plus X, so you would want to make it executable. So it is. It does look nice. I did have Lemon Bar installed uh, before making this video. However, I just for whatever reason I could not get. Um, I just could not get battery indicator up in there. Uh, again, I tried doing Conkey and everything, but it aired out. So the panel colors is. Um, sorry, what you see up here. So it does colorize the panels. Um, by default, uh, this is what you see, but I meticulously went through each line of this. Uh, let me show you what I did here. Let's go back here. So you can see here, like this, uh, these top two are for the bar color itself, and then for other works, uh, other workspaces here. Uh, I don't know exactly what the multi monitor layout really is. So I tried changing it to a red color, but I'm assuming if you have multi monitors like a two or three, you may see the other stuff red. Um, but again, I'm just on a laptop, 
So you get the current workspace you're on, and then it highlights what workspace you're on by having like a little tiny bar down below. And then um, urgent is just in case. Uh, so if you click on a link uh, in IRC, uh, free note or anything, it automatically goes and focuses on the web or your browser that you have up. And then the inactive ones, I have a dark blue. And then here's the active that has programs in it, so it will highlight which um, what uh, workspaces are in what. And then the status colors, which is over here. And then applications that are open, which is just like in uh, Awesome Window Manager. Uh, if you can see the URXVT up here, so in this middle bar here, uh, you can see which uh, you have open. So you can have multiple things open here as much as you can have uh, on your screen. So that is the colors and I, I, if you guys want I can you know show you how to set up your panel uh, in another video if you'd want. Um, why I'm uh, gonna switch over here I was uh, my desktop with i3 was starting to get uh, a little bland, a little dull. Even though I love i3, I'm going to keep it installed just in case. I just wanted to try something else to uh, to make uh, Linux fun again. And what better way to do that is than to install something that you have no idea about and just playing around with it uh, to see if you like it. So I'll let you guys know uh, if I stay on here for any longer than a week. I'm going to give myself a week on this. Uh, and then if you guys want to have me review any other or look at any other window managers or desktop environments um, please put put your comments down below and I will make a video uh, I will make put this on actual hardware and I will review uh, use it for a week just so I can get uh, used to it and then I can tell you what my views are uh, if you have any other video um, any other things you would want to see me cover, any tutorials, then please put them down below, uh, and I will see you guys next video.